Hello, and welcome to the third video in the Introduction to Shagit Migrate series. We've seen how to activate the tool as well as an overview of the UI in the previous episodes. We'll be ready to start migrating shortly, but before, let's take a quick tour of the settings section. There are many generic application settings such as Launch on Startup or Auto Update, but we will be covering the most important sections. First, we have the performance settings section here. This dictates how many simultaneous API calls the ShareGate Migrate tool is allowed to handle at once. It will be set to normal as default, but while you might be tempted to bring this to high right away, we still recommend starting on normal and see how your SharePoint environment reacts to the large number of API calls the tool sends and adjust up or down afterwards accordingly. Second, we have the migration speed. The default here is always insane mode. We don't recommend switching to normal mode unless otherwise specified. This isn't just a speed setting, it also changes how some API calls are handled. Third, we have the security section, where you can validate the consent to our Azure Enterprise app and make sure that the tool is properly recognizing this consent. This is also where you can manage your site collection auto-assigned feature for reports and other operations. In the next video, we'll be taking a closer look at reports.